Hi friends, Father Kerry Walters here, pastor of Holy Spirit American National Catholic Church, and this is another Holy Spirit moment, this one with a bit of advice. If you are having difficulty in praying, stop doing prayer. Many people have come to me over the years telling me that they have difficulty in praying. It's hard for them, they say, to pray. And even though there have been several reasons for this, the two most common ones in my experience boil down to these. On the one hand, some people do not find the emotional high that they expect when they pray, and so they walk away disappointed. Other people uh, discover that when they ask God for this or that or the other thing, God never comes through, never answers their prayer, and so they walk away disappointed. In both cases, people disappointed in prayer might come to the conclusion that prayer has been a colossal waste of time. I understand their frustration and I sympathize with it, but I also want to suggest to you that people who find prayer a waste of time for either of these two reasons might be suffering from a category mistake. They might be applying the same standard of evaluation to prayer that we Americans, at any rate, tend to apply to almost everything, and it is the standard of work. We human beings in America prize work, don't we? And we evaluate work according to two criteria. One is the effort that is put into the work, and the other is the outcome of the work. We seem to think that the more effort we put into work, the higher value, the higher quality the work possesses. And we also evaluate the work uh, in regards to its successful outcome. If we accomplish the task that we have set for ourselves, in our work, then we consider the work to be fruitful. And so it seems to me that if we're not careful, we can apply that same work standard to prayer. We can uh, tell ourselves that we have to try really, really, really hard in order to pray effectively, and that the more effort we put into it, the more success the prayer will bring, either from the emotional high that we might want from prayer or from getting the things that we're asking God to give us. I think this is absolutely the wrong way to go about prayer. When we go about prayer in that way, what we are doing is doing prayer. We're considering prayer to be an activity like work that has to pay off and that has to be um, judged by the effort that we put into it. But you know, the great spiritual masters, both Christian and non-Christian, have always argued that prayer is a non-activity. It is not a doing. It is more like a letting. Heraclitus, a pre-Socratic philosopher who lived centuries before the Lord, said that this kind of prayer is a listening to the essence of the world. I actually quite love that. Prayer is a listening to the essence. It goes straight to the heart of reality. Martin Heidegger, a 20th century philosopher who isn't a Christian, says something similar. He says that when you and I really want to make contact with reality, we need to let it be. We have to quit trying to grasp it and manipulate it and mold it according to our desires and in accordance with our wishes. And of course, the great Christian spiritual masters from the Lord to the present day have told us that prayer is a sitting silently before God and letting God speak to us. In a wonderful little book of his, the German philosopher of the 20th century, Josef Pieper, uh, uh, Leisure, the Basis of Culture, makes an interesting comparison between leisure on the one hand and prayer on the other. He argues that leisure is one of those things that we human beings are not very good at. And the reason for that is that we apply to it the same work standard that we may be applying to prayer. We think that we have to choreograph our leisure hours. We have to make sure that they somehow are all planned out. We work at enjoying leisure. Or we think that we have to put in a lot of effort into being leisurely. And that sometimes can lead us into frenetic merrymaking when uh, what we should be doing is relaxing. And so at the end of our leisure, we find ourselves absolutely exhausted. 
Or then there are those people who simply don't vacation well because they feel as if they constantly need to be doing something and achieving something and putting a lot of effort into something. We simply don't know how to use leisure time, Josef Pipa suggests. And the reason for that, of course, once again, is leisure is a kind of non-activity. It's a non-doing. Leisure at its very heart is a receptivity, says Josef Pieper. It's a receptivity to the silence that constantly surrounds us if we take the time to move away from the deafening hustle and bustle of life. It's a time which cultivates for us inward calm and tranquility, says Pipa. It's a time of playfulness, playfulness meaning that we tend to approach the world not in a manipulative, um, goal-oriented way, but in a light-hearted, um, spirited way. Now, here's the interesting thing. Pipa wants to suggest that prayer, when it's done right, is a form of leisure, because prayer ultimately is a letting God be. It is a total receptivity to what God might want to reveal to the prayer. And in order for that receptivity to be possible, one has to cultivate inner silence, a tranquility of spirit, a calmness of soul, a openness to that which is, a letting be that which is. And what does that make uh, the goal of prayer? Well, it doesn't make the goal of prayer some achievement of spiritual purity, some climb on the ladder toward God. Again, prayer isn't work. And because it's not work, it can't be judged by the effort that we put into it or the successful uh, achievement of some external goal. Rather, according to Pieper, what prayer does when it's successful is to remind us of the wholeness of reality, to keep us away from focusing upon the particulars of reality, the particulars that are constantly seducing us into manipulating them and being goal-obsessed um, um, with them. Prayer opens us up to the entire wholeness of the world that God has created and, of course, to the wholeness that God himself is. When we enter silently into prayer. We don't do prayer. We let prayer. We let God be who God is. We let the wholeness of God's creation be what it is instead of dividing it into particularities. We let prayer instead of doing prayer. So if you are having trouble praying, perhaps I might put it like this. Quit trying so hard. Quit trying to do prayer and simply allow yourself to be open to being. Because if you do that, then being God will speak to you. Remember what Heraclitus said, prayer is listening to the essence of being. I'm Father Kerry Walters, and this has been another Holy Spirit moment. Thank you so much. I will see you again soon.